there's no need to go above 50% infill or four or five walls, right? So as many people have commented, uh, CNC Kitchen's testing of where are the diminishing returns of walls and infill. From what I remember from his video, I agree. However, what if we're talking about just a portion of the part being 100% infill. And I'm speaking before going and watching this video again, but my other question is for threaded inserts inserted by heat specifically, do the same diminishing return rules apply? Because look at these two parts, right? You've got on the bottom, the five walls, 50% infill through the entire part. And then the top one, which is 50% infill for the majority of the part, but then 100% infill for just the part around the threaded insert. The top one uses half the amount of filament, and prints in half the time. So that makes me curious between these two parts, so specifically talking about threaded inserts that are being inserted through heat, which is gonna be stronger? The five walls, 50% for the entire part or the 100% infill just around the threaded insert? I don't know. Makes me wanna buy some scientific machines.